Hello everyone and welcome back to Be Here Now. Now once again you join me high above the River Irwell. Um, I'm outside the town of Radcliffe which is to the northwest of Manchester um, and I'm going to be looking at the Manchester, Bury and Rosendale railway line. Now this section here between Radcliffe and Manchester was lifted and uh, it was abandoned. Um, beyond that in Bury uh, it's still in play and towards Manchester City Centre it's still in play. However this little section is abandoned, it's a, it's a national cycle route actually. Um, but I'm going to be looking at, I'm going to see what little nuggets of history I can pick out for you. The only reason I'm doing this, <laughs> a bit of an excuse really for doing this, is the end. Um, there's something very special at the end. And I've said that before in other videos and it's not panned out very well for me. Uh, but this time I really, really want to look at this thing at the end. Um, you could probably guess what it is if you know the area. So, let's get on with it. In the early 1840s, the only railway in the area was the Manchester Bolton Line. But in 1843, plans were put in place to build a branch out towards Bury and beyond to Rottenstall. The new line branched away near the village of Clifton and ran through three stations before reaching Bury, a route of around five or six miles. A three and a half mile section between Radcliffe and Clifton was closed in the 1960s and that's what I'll be exploring today. So my first stop on the route is this place. Uh, this is Outwood Colliery, or it's the site of it. Uh, it was a large colliery built um, in the 1840s and owned by Thomas Fletcher and his family who owned loads of coal mines around the Irwell Valley. Um, in its heyday it employed 2,000 people and was one of the biggest collieries in the area. So it closed in 1931 after a serious fire um, and there's nothing left, the, there's nothing to see around here. This behind me is just a sculpture and there's no remains to be seen. Um, but this is the site, one of the biggest collieries in the area. Right, enough of this YouTube cycling, let's get on with it. So where I am now, um, used to be a station, Molyneux Brow Railway Station. It was opened in 1853, I think, and closed when the line closed in 1931. It's a very small station, it served a very tiny community around here. Um, all this was just farmland, a lot of it still is, kind of. But there's no trace of the station whatsoever left, nothing. And the reason for that is, uh, just down there, you can probably hear it, or maybe even see it, it's the M60 motorway. And when that was built, uh, it just carved right through the centre of Molyneux Brow Station. So the blue line on the map here shows the line of the modern motorway. And as you can see, Molyneux Brow Station falls right on the embankment of the motorway there. And this old photo here was the only one I could find of Molyneux Brow Station. Well, I made it, yes. Uh, this is the end of my journey. It's a very short video, but this is where I wanted to be. This is the 13 Arches Viaduct. Um, and it crosses the River Irwell, and it crosses the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal. Um, and it's huge, and I just wanted, I've always wanted to come up here since I first saw it years ago. And I'm up here now, yay! Let's, uh, let's see what we can find. So this is what the viaduct looks like today. Crossing there, the River Irwell, and the blue line, 
which is the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal. So as you can see, like most abandoned places, most abandoned railway lines, this has just been taken over completely by nature. There's silver birches all over the place, hawthorns. Um, it's just, <laughs> I don't know how deep these roots go. Um, it can't be very deep, but there's loads of them. It's just a forest up here. Right, can you see that over there? That is the Clifton Aqueduct, which carried the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal over the River Irwell, which is down there. Um, I've had a look at that in another video. Um, which I'll put a link to in the description if, if I can remember uh, but that is a grade 2 listed structure and it's fantastic to look at you can walk along there, you can cycle along there um, yeah that's a very beautiful bridge um, I'm going to see, there's a very slight bend in this viaduct I'm going to try and show you a profile of the viaduct um, from up here I don't know if I can <laughs> I don't know if it'll work but yeah let's give it a go Funnily enough, it was this railway line and the other one which heads up the other side of the valley there towards Bolton, which kind of spelt the beginning of the end for the canal down there because the railways, as we all know, were a much more efficient way of transporting goods uh, from the collieries and the businesses and the, the industry um, in Bolton and Bury and around the valley here. So the canal uh, days were really numbered once the railway was put up. So if there's one thing I like more than uh, abandoned viaducts and places that are high up and abandoned railway lines, it's uh, places that have been reclaimed by nature and this is just amazing. Um, people do come along here, you can see a little bit of a trail, it's probably kids, probably uh, people just having a nosy, um, like me. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it's not, you have to be quite agile to get through here actually. Um, but yeah, this is really exciting all of it. Oh, so this is great, I'm proper excited about this. Um, yeah, I just love places like this, abandoned viaducts and places that are high up and I'm not supposed to be. It's, uh, yeah, this is cool, man. Uh, I don't know if you can see that down there in the trees, but that is the, the canal, the old canal. Um, and I've done another video on that. Um, and I actually point out this uh, mountain of plastic recycling down here. But from up here, you can actually see the scale of it and it is absolutely huge. Um, I don't know whether to be pleased that it's all been collected like this or just completely horrified that this much exists in a single site. Um, yeah, I think it's hot, horrific, yeah. So that's it, uh, the end of the line here, as you can see. Um, I could keep going, uh, the railway bed does keep going all the way to somewhere called Clifton Station which is still in existence, it's still on the Manchester to Bolton line. Uh, obviously this is overgrown and there's no point going through there just to look at more trees. So uh, that's it, that's the end of the video, it's a very short video, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, uh, give us a like and subscribe, I'll see you next time. And by the way, if you want to suggest any more uh, things for me to look at, anything historical, anything present day. It doesn't have to be a route, it doesn't have to be a cycle ride or a walk. It could be a single historical thing. Then put it in the comments, I'm all, uh, I'm all up for it. So, thanks again and see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.